I'm glad you could make it out this evening, what with you being a newlywed and all. Yeah, it's good to have a guy's night out. It sure is. I don't think I've seen you since your wedding. How's married life treating you? Oh, I can't complain too much. It just takes some getting used to. Ah yes, I remember when I was a newly wed. I bet your wedding night was out of this world, eh? You got that right. We hardly slept at all the whole night. Ah, working the old twig and berries, eh? A little wedding night rogering? Well I must say, it was a strange evening. You see, neither of us were very experienced in that department, if you know what I mean. My dear old dad could tell I was nervous that day, so he gave me a piece of advice for that night. What did he tell you? Well, he said to make things easier, I should try being on top for the first time. Yes, good advice. Get on top and let the old tallywhacker do its job. Since you said you hardly got any sleep, I trust everything went well. Well, I guess so. Of course the reason we got so little sleep was that we were up half the night looking for a hotel that had bunk beds. Well, um, right. Say, I wonder what's going on over the... So, what can I get for you? Line me up five shots of whiskey. Wow, when a man drinks like that, he must have something really troubling him. Yeah, I sure do. I just found out my oldest son is gay. Wow, that poor chap over there. But anyway, how was your honeymoon? Pretty good. We went to a tropical beach. I remember the first morning. She had just gotten out of the shower and came into the room wearing a bathrobe. Aha, a little early morning how's your father, eh? Well no. I told her that since we were married, she didn't need to walk around in a robe. She took it off and I told her how beautiful she was and that I wanted to take her picture. You sly dog. What did she say to that? She asked why I wanted to do that. I told her I wanted to have a picture so I could always carry her beauty next to my heart. Good line. Did she let you take the picture? She sure did. Then I went in and took a shower. I threw on my robe when I came out and she said the same thing to me. That I didn't need a robe because we were married now. That sounds like the prelude to a little horizontal mambo. That's what I thought too, so I took off my robe. She commented that she would like to take a picture of me, so I asked why. I assumed she'd give me the same answer I gave her. What did she say? She said she wanted the picture so she could get it enlarged. Oh dear. Hey, that poor chap is back over there again. Hey bartender, set me up another five shots of whiskey. Five more? Gee, what's the matter now? I just found out that my other son is also gay. So, the honeymoon is over and now it's time for you and your wife to start living in the real world. How's it going? Not too bad. I mean, we have our arguments on occasion, but I suppose everyone does. Sure they do. I'll tell you, I've been married for 20 years and my wife and I have had our share of arguments. But we have a great technique to deal with that. Oh, what do you do? We agreed to never go to sleep angry at each other. Does it work? It sure does. We've both been awake for over five years. Look, that guy is back again. I wonder what's bothering the poor bastard this time. You again? Yeah, set me up with ten shots of whiskey this time. Ten shots? That's crazy. Look buddy, I know you got problems. And maybe I'm all the line for asking, but does anyone in your family like pussy? Yeah. My wife. Wow, you know hearing that poor guy over there makes me realize my wife's faults aren't so bad. What do you mean? Well, I think sometimes she's forgetful. In what way? Well, I know we've only been married a short while, but you'd think she'd remember my name by now. But no, she's called out a variety of men's names when we're in bed. And on top of that, last week, her and one of her female friends took a girl's only vacation to Aruba. When I was helping her pack, I noticed she had three boxes of condoms in her suitcase. She must have forgot I wasn't going. You know old chap, I think we'd better go get you a few shots of whiskey.